Hello there, sorry from 17 once again. This is my Evil Within. Akumu difficulty, no upgrade, no keys, walkthrough. So I think this is the worst part of the game. I mean, it looks great, it looks interesting, it's, it's a fun idea. It's just it's just the hardest part of my entire walkthrough for, for me personally. And is it the hardest encounter in the game? Probably not, but it's the worst checkpoint, and I think that's sometimes worse. So, you have to do two rooms full of dudes. They far outnumber you. You do not have the ammo to kill all of them. And one touch and it's a fail. And the problem here is there's no checkpoint between the rooms. So, you know, you get to that second room and you mess up. Oh, by the way, shoot the boxes, not the rope. It'll save you ammunition. But this is a great example of just how fucking stupid the shooting is on this game. And they'll probably not even have anything in the boxes, which is my luck. But you do two rooms, and you have to do them flawlessly, uh, as far as not getting touched. Your strategies can differ within. The run I have for you here, which was my successful run, the first phase of it, I do really well with the explosive barrel, and it gives me a lull in the enemies. That does not always happen, guys. Um, I have had times when I've had over six enemies in the first room when I've run for the door, and I've had to kite them. So... It's all about luck, this next section, I fervently believe. And the strategy is going to be quite simple. You want to use both the barrels as best as you can in the first wave. If you can get one of the barrels wedged up against the doorway, against the windowway, sorry, what will happen is any enemy that climbs through it will touch the barrel, will set on fire, and it will kill them. If you stand at the other windowway while this is happening you can melee the people trying to climb in if you melee them as they go to climb in rather than the animation of climbing you'll knock them back if you can knock them back you can knock them over you maybe knock them over the edge and they'll climb back up and it gives you breathing room and my strategy is pretty simple really I'm going to guard the left window with melee attacks and whatever comes in the right window I'm gonna try and use the barrel against and I'm gonna try and knock down and hit with matches once we get to the second area, I'm going to use all my trap parts to make uh, flashbang bolts. I'm going to pick up the shotgun shells that are in that room. I'm then going to use the barrels as best I can. I'm going to use the shotgun and my matches as best I can. And then it's going to be bolts or death. And that's how this is going to work. So the checkpoint starts you with two people in the room and they immediately bum rush you. Be very careful. The amount of times I've failed just by a dude running at me and hit me in the face is kind of ridiculous. Get used to this room, you're going to see it a few times before you do this, unless you get very lucky or you're very good. The problem with it is, you clip on the table, you clip on the, the dude opening the safe, you clip everywhere and you don't have a ton of ammo and there's a lot of dudes coming. So now we've done the first wave, I'm going to kick the barrel over to the right window and I'm going to set it off to try and get the fat guy, then I'm going to go to the left window and I'm going to try and stop anybody coming in this. So there's a nice lucky match, there's a fat guy. This is not going as well as it has in other runs, but it still turns out to be a decent one. And I believe after this guy, you're going to see maybe a lull. Oh, no. So everything I'm saying to you, I'm not actually doing. But that is my strategy that I used when I was getting through this room consistently. This is kind of just a reactionary tale. So, yeah, look. See how there's no enemies coming? This is very rare. You have to be on top of the spawns for this to happen. Because normally they're always coming. And it's really tricky. But there's the door. Just because you hear it doesn't mean it's open. It takes ages for the bloody thing to open. And then when it's opened, that is where the checkpoint should have been. That just there. Then I would have no problems with this chapter. However, it's not there. And we have to do an even larger, more difficult room coming up now. So I've tried hiding under the stairs and letting them come to me. I've tried setting different traps. I've tried a lot of different things. And... It's hard, guys. It's really hard. And you're going to watch this. This is... Uh, it sucks so bad. I can't even begin to describe how much I didn't like it. I was only stuck here for about two hours. But two hours on a sequence, which is this long, or feels this long, can feel like an eternity. And it's... Considering you could fail in ten seconds, and every time you fail, you go back to that first fight. And it's not like the first fight is easy. The first fight is, is tough too, so you can fail at any given moment. It's it's some of the most disparaging stuff I've ever done. Like, 
And this this area is random. There is no pattern to them falling from the roofs. That was me getting cock blocked on a match and nearly dying. Very angry at that moment. Very shouty, as you can imagine. Also, you're not going to see me using ammo well here because I'm all in panic mode. I'm all in survivor mode. This is nerves 101 right now. This is... I cannot die at this point. Or everything I've done is wasted. And it's the kind of thing I hate. I absolutely hate this feeling. I don't think it's rewarding. I don't think it's fun. I just don't like it. So... I'm going to try and hit this barrel, but it doesn't do anything. I'm going to try and put these guys down with a shotgun blast shared, and then I'm going to craft some more blinding bolts. And at this point, it's flashbangs or die, so flashbangs are on. Take a moment to craft something as I get chased down. Immediate flashbang to stun him because I panicked. Shouldn't have wasted it then, I should have kited him, but here they come. Now it's going to get real hectic, and this is where your kiting and your flashbangs are really going to help. So flashbang down to get them stunned. Get yourself away from them. Never, ever stun them when they're stunned. It will not work. Wait for them to recover, then flashbang. And hope you don't get grabbed when they charge you like that, because it does happen. There's a freeze grenade. Here's me waiting in the corner. There's your flash. Get out of the corner. Quick, quick, quick. Be careful, because people dropping in will not be flashed, just like him. And then this is the final one. I stun them there, and I throw a grenade. This grenade could have easily killed me too. That's what this game is like. That's the door. Right now, it's all or nothing. The grenade didn't kill who I wanted it to kill, and I get through the door. I cannot begin to tell you just how bad I feel that part is. And I wish you the best of luck with it, guys. I'm hoping you do not have the same experience as me. I'm hoping you come on here commenting saying, well, I had no trouble there, I got it first time. I just don't think you will, because I think it is horrible, and that's why it gets its own video. Because that, to me, is the hardest part of this run. Thank you very much for watching, and you take care now.